How the Smothers Brothers Defeated Bonanza The Smothers Brothers were not only a popular comedy duo in the 1960s, but also became known for their musical performances and satirical humor. However, amidst their success, they found themselves in direct competition with the television western, Bonanza. The battle between the two shows was not just a ratings war, but a cultural clash between two vastly different styles of entertainment. The Rise of the Smothers Brothers The Smothers Brothers, made up of Tom and Dick Smothers, first gained national attention in 1967 with their variety show, The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. The show was unique in its satirical take on current events, and the brothers' comedic musical performances were a hit with audiences. Their humor was fresh and daring, and they were not afraid to challenge the social norms and political establishment of the time. At the same time, Bonanza, a popular Western series, was dominating the television landscape. It starred Norm Green as Ben Cartwright, Michael Landon as Little Joe Cartwright, Dan Blocker as Hoss Cartwright, and Pernell Roberts as Adam Cartwright. The show, which focused on the lives of the Cartwright family, was known for its traditional values and conservative themes. The series premiered in 1959 and aired until 1973, becoming one of the longest-running television shows in history. The Clash of Cultures The Smothers Brothers show was a direct challenge to the status quo of television. Programming Their satirical take on current events and liberal leanings clashed with the conservative values espoused by shows like Bonanza. The Smothers Brothers did not shy away from controversial topics such as the Vietnam War, civil rights, and women's liberation. They invited guests such as Pete Seeger and Harry Belafonte, who were known for their activism, to perform on their show. Bonanza, on the other hand, remained steadfast in its adherence to traditional values. The show rarely addressed social or political issues and focused on the moral lessons that could be learned from the Cartwright family's experiences. The Smothers Brothers' victory. Despite the odds stacked against them, the Smothers Brothers' comedy hour became a cultural phenomenon. The show was the first to introduce many groundbreaking acts, including The Who, The Doors, and Richard Pryor, to a mainstream audience. The show's political commentary and willingness to tackle controversial issues made it a hit with the younger generation who were increasingly disillusioned with traditional values and looking for something new. The Smothers Brothers show represented the changing cultural landscape of the time. Bonanza, on the other hand, began to lose its audience as the cultural landscape changed. The show's conservative values and lack of willingness to address contemporary issues made it seem outdated and out of touch with the times. The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour had a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Their groundbreaking work paved the way for future comedians and performers to push the boundaries of what was once considered acceptable on television. In 1969, the Smothers Brothers show was abruptly cancelled by CBS due to its controversial content. The cancellation sparked outrage and led to a lawsuit that ultimately ended in the brothers' victory. Although the show did not return to television, it had a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. The legacy of the Smothers Brothers The Smothers Brothers' victory over Bonanza was not just a ratings win, but a cultural triumph. Their willingness to challenge the status quo and address controversial issues made them a hit with audiences in a time of social and political upheaval. The legacy of the Smothers Brothers' comedy hour can still be seen today, in shows like The Daily Show and Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Their groundbreaking work paved the way. So what can we learn from the Smothers Brothers and how can we apply it to modern business or entertainment? The Smothers Brothers' comedy hour was innovative. One of the main reasons why the Smothers Brothers defeated Bonanza was because their show was innovative. At the time, most TV shows were very formulaic and predictable. The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour, on the other hand, was known for taking risks and pushing boundaries. They were willing to tackle controversial topics such as politics, race, and social issues in a way that other shows were not. This made their show more interesting and appealing to viewers who were tired of the same old thing. 2. 
The Smothers brothers had a unique brand of humor. Tommy and Dick Smothers had a natural chemistry. That allowed them to play off each other in a way that was both entertaining and engaging. Their humor was clever and witty, and they often used wordplay and puns to get laughs. 3. The Smothers brothers defeated Bonanza because they had a loyal following. Their fans were passionate and dedicated, and they were willing to fight for the show when it was threatened with cancellation. In fact, it was the show's fans who helped save it when CBS tried to censor it in the late 1960s. The Smothers Brothers had created a community of fans who felt connected to the show and its message, which made it difficult for other shows to compete. When it comes to modern comparisons, there are several notable names that come to mind. Firstly, the comedy duo of Key and Peel have a similar chemistry and ability to play off each other's strengths in their performances. Their humor is clever and often uses satire to comment on current events and social issues. They have a loyal fan base and have achieved significant success with their comedy sketch show and films. Another comparable would be the late-night talk show host, John Oliver. Like the Smothers Brothers, Oliver uses his humor to comment on political and social issues, often providing in-depth analysis and commentary. His show has gained a significant following and has become a trusted source of news for many viewers. In the world of stand-up comedy, comedians such as Dave Chappelle and Ali Wong have gained popularity for their witty and thought-provoking humor. They use their personal experiences and observations to create relatable and humorous material that resonates with their audiences. Lastly, there is the musical comedy duo, Flight of the Concords. Similar to the Smothers Brothers, they use music to complement their humor, often creating catchy tunes with humorous lyrics. Their ability to combine music and comedy has made them a unique and popular act in the entertainment industry. The Smothers Brothers managed to win through innovation, being unique and embracing their fans. These same principles can be applied to any business. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe it really helps us out.